Hello everyone, welcome back again to on our channel. My name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video request, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment if you are wondering why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to set up subscriptions and recurring payments on Shopify. So having subscriptions on your Shopify store is one of the best passive incomes when it comes to e-commerce or dropshipping. Because the customer will need to pay each month or each week or each day for a particular product to be shipped or to be delivered because that can be digitally as well, either a course or service or whatever the case is. Most digital products require a subscription or a recurrent payments each month or each week as I said. And currently on Shopify in the payments section, they do not have the option. When it comes to subscriptions or recurring payments, they don't have those options yet. And I'm not sure if they will add them in the future or not, but for now, they don't have the options. That's why I'm making this video and I will show you how to set up and create subscriptions and recurring payments on your Shopify store. And I will show you everything in this video, including how to set up the subscriptions and the interval that will be in each week or each month or even each day, depends on the product obviously, and some other customizable options. So if this video helped you out, help me out pressing that like button. I would really appreciate it and it's completely free as well. And without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, this is my Shopify store that you see right now. And this is actually just a testing store, as you can see from the title or the logo. It's just on how testing for the channel where I show my tricks and show all the tutorials on how to do stuff, including, for example, this order tracking page. So the customers can track the order just from your Shopify store. They don't have to access third party website or any website to track the order or the shipments of their order. They can do that just from your Shopify store, which is really good. And this banner right here, the video banner, including the button and so on, and all of this without any apps or anything like that, including actually the order tracking page, which your own standalone code on everything else, because having too many apps can actually slow down your Shopify store. So let's just access the Shopify dashboard and let me show you how to create the subscription and recurring payments for Shopify. The first thing we're going to do, as I said, because Shopify does not have those options yet in the payments option. We need to install an app in order to have the subscriptions or recurring payments on our store. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously click on apps right here. And after that, click on recommended apps and click on Shopify app store at the bottom of the page. And it will take you to the Shopify app store. Then click on the search bar right here and type in app SDLE. Just like you see right now, you should see two apps and click on subscription one. And actually you don't have to do this again. Just scroll down the description box and you will see the link for the app and click on it and it will take you to this page right here. Then click on add app right here. And when it comes to subscriptions or recurring payments, this is the best app that you can use. And the next option is obviously click on install app and give it a couple of seconds and you should be good to go. So here we go. So the first thing you should see is the plans that you need to select for your account. And this might be scary, however, it's really cheap. Actually. As you can see, the first one starts by $10 a month and $30 a month, $100 a month, and the custom option, which is, this is for brands mostly. And the first option is $0 per month and zero transaction fee. So there is a condition to this. If you want to use the free plan and you don't have to pay anything else, that will be a limit of $500 a month and I mean in sales so if your store doesn't have a subscription or recurring payments of up to $500 a month you good for the free plan you don't have to pay for the premium or anything else and as I said even the starter or the business is really affordable it's not something expensive so let's just select the free plan let's just click on activate and after that you should see this pop-up right here or a message where it says click here to activate the embedded block and simply click on it it's gonna take you to the team customizer as you can see so enable the the app from here so let's just enable it and we are good to go click on save after that make sure you do so and let's just close this and get back in here so we did that and we are good to go so let's just close this the first thing you're going to do is we need to set up the subscription plan obviously so the first thing as i said is click on subscription plans right here simply click on it and it will take you to the part where you're going to create your first subscription plan and click on create and after that let's just name it for example uh, uh, first subscription and it says here no products in selection so we need to select obviously the products for the subscription so let's just click on select products and from here it will show you all the products on your shopify store so if you don't see them all make sure to scroll all the way down and click on view more in this case i'm going to select some of these in here so let's just go with the bracelets 
and after that you just click on add so we have two products for this subscription plan and scroll down a little bit this is where we're gonna edit the frequency of the subscription which is the month or the day or depends on the subscription as I said so the first option in here which is the name so the name should be weekly or monthly or yearly depends on the products and your service that you do offer in my case I'm going to do it monthly so I'm going to type in here monthly and the option on the right in here which is pay as you go or prepaid one time or prepaid auto renew I'm going to go for the first one which is auto renew which is automatically will be paid each month because I'm going to go for each month in here and this is the frequency plan description where the you're gonna type in description for the frequency plan and keep in mind all the information here will be visible for the customers so keep that in mind and here I'm going to go for monthly uh, bracelet subscription for example so monthly bracelet subscription which is the description for the subscription plan and below it is the order frequency which is the intervals as I said between each payment so every like what 10 days or 30 days if you want monthly or if you want for example let's just go for one and in the option in here on the right uh, it will say if you want to set it as the days or months or years even if we click on it as you can see that select uh, day week month and year and so on so if you want it as each month I'm going to keep it month and it did add two here I don't know why let's just go for one so right now this frequency is each month so if we did go for this plan right here the customer each month uh, will pay for two bracelets automatically which is what we want and that's the purpose of actually the subscription or recurring payments and this option right here which is offer discount for subscription so the customer will get a discount for the subscription uh, if we did select this option it will give you the option to select the discount that you want to give to the customers and on the right you should see percentage or amount off and 15 or 10 we'll just keep it as 10 for the percentage and the option below it set specific order days which is not that really important so you don't have to use this actually so let's just click on show advanced option in here it will show us some advanced options however they are only available on the business plan and most of these options will be really good for people that sell actually digital products because as you can see minimum number of orders and maximum number of orders and offer free trial obviously uh, selling physical products you will not have to offer free trial because that's obviously a physical product so let's just close this and let's just click on save which is up here on the right so right now we did create our first subscription right here and have two products and variant counts zero because I, did, I didn't select any variants I just selected the products and if you want to reaccess the settings to manage the subscription click on the button right here for the below the manage plan simply click on it and it will show you all the settings that we did go for just now and on the left right here on the page you should see a whole lot of options which is uh, shipping profile cancel management uh, dinner management I don't know what is this actually I never tried it before customer portal uh, website widgets and website widgets actually is where the customers gonna see the subscription plan so let's just click on product page and in here it will show you the widgets type so you can select some widgets from here that will be really suited for your website however again this option is only available for the paid plan which is cost like ten dollars so it's not that expensive and most of the options in here will be only available for paid plan uh, except for this dunning management i never saw this and never use it never access it so let's just get back to the dashboard right here because there is some other options in here for example the selling plans right here so you can go over the selling plans which products will be available for the subscription and which are not and the shipping profile as well and the shipping profile is actually based on the settings of your shopify store and the email template right here which is the email that the customer will get for example if I click on email templates it will show me some templates right here based on the subject as you can see for example the first one expiring credit card uh, which is if the which is if the customer has an expiring credit card uh, this email will be sent to him right here there is all kinds actually of templates right here as you can see all kind of templates you can find them in here and you can edit them however you want as you can see and you don't have actually to pay for this option in order to edit the templates for the emails and the last option is head over to the product page and you will see the widget because we already did enable it from the team customizer as we did before but for my case that will not show up yet because this is the development store and I do not have a payment gateway development stores only have the test payment gateway that will not be available for this particular app that's why I will not be able to show you that 
uh, I will try to use it on other stores but if you do see this video already posted that means I uh, wasn't able to use it on my other stores because I'm working on them and I cannot add a subscription to the products on my Shopify store but for now that's how you set up or create subscriptions and recurring payments for Shopify store and as I said if you have any questions on any video requests make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me I don't reply to each comment if you are wondering again why is that because simply I'm working for you otherwise I think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you on the next one